हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर टू गेट ऑल सच कॉन्सेप्चुअल वीडियोस एंड ट्यूटोरियल थैंक यू एक्स पार्ट फंक्शंस देर आर सो मेनी फंक्शंस एंड दीज आर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन वेयर पीपल ऑलवेज गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन देम लाइक वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टैक्स डॉट एंड नॉर्मलाइज स्पेस फंक्शंस बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दैम कैन बी यूज विद द text of the element to write the x path but sometimes people get to conf get confused which method should they use are they all three same or they different and what if they will use like text or dot normalize space what will happen and sometimes all people also find that like uh, uh, x path same x path is working today but tomorrow it's not working what is the reason so let's see what is the uh, major difference between these function and how can we use it in our automation testing so uh, i have created a page to practice all these complex scenarios related to x path css selector shared dom etc here so just go to selectorsub.com under more you will find this x path practice page click on this this has all covered all the major complex scenarios which you can think of and if you want to read what all scenarios has been covered just go to bottom here and they all have been mentioned here and this is really good page and if you really want to test your knowledge just try to enter value in each and every input box here in this page and you will be amazed to write those x path and selectors everything so this is really really complex and really good to uh, practice automation okay so for an example if we have to let's say click on this link here okay and if we have to write x path for that how can we do that let's see so if you right click on this element let me zoom in here this element if we inspected this one so you see that this is an anchor tag okay now if i expand this it has some of the content directly with this element some of the content like shadow dom is inside the span tag this tag then few more content is inside another span tag and then likewise this there is a third span as well cool so in this case how can we write the x path if suppose if we have to click on this a course with uh, this course link if we have to click on this what x path can we write okay so here let's open selectors up a platform to write x path in selectors where you can write the correct x path so suppose we want to write x path here for this element okay so for a second let me just turn this auto generated mode and keep it editor mode so here if you want to write x path based on this text which is the element text then we can write x path using any of these function like text so we can use text normalize space or dot any of these three function let me show you how so here we want to write x path for this element so you can copy this contains text or you can like directly of course uh, you need not to copy or something like that uh, here we can directly start typing Sorry. select this element a and contains this one and there you go so this is how we have written x path for this element where we have used text function and the text for this a tag is this because the text which is there like this serodom span this span text this is the child text of this 
anger tag it's not the direct text of this element right though it is under this a but it's a children text not the direct text of this element so here we can use this method now in place of this text we can also use dot function this will also work here we can use normalize space as well this will also work cool so what is the difference like we can use the dot here we can use the text here what we can use the normalize space here okay cool good so we are good like whenever an element has its own text we have seen that we can use any of these method text dot or normalize space so in this case you can feel that oh all these three are same but no they not they are not same they have a major difference now suppose we want to write x path for this a anchor tag with respect to this shadow dom like we want to use this shadow dom text so if you use this method text here which we have used if we write use this text shadow dom here this will not work region we can use text function only with the uh, like we can use the text function whenever we will use the text function we will have to have to use elements text like the element text direct element text not the elements children text we cannot use elements children text with the text function this with text function we cannot use children's text we will have to use element text okay so here we cannot use this if you want to write x path for this anchor tag with respect to children text that's where you will have to use the dot function if you use dot here in place of this text if you use dot here and hit enter then it will show one element matching so dot function basically considered the element text as well as the children text so whenever you want to write x path based on elements children text that's where you can use the dot function dot function can also be used with the elements text as well but text function cannot be used with the children text whenever you want to write x path for an element with its children text that's where you will have to use dot function okay yeah so here we have seen where we can use text function and where we can use dot function cool now if we want to write x path for an element let's say for this span we want to write x path <laughs> this is fine so we have written x path for this span with using this text function but here if you notice that there is a junk space like there is a space junk space here and there is a junk space here so it is never suggested to write x path with junk space junk space or garbage space whatever you can say we should not write x path uh, like with garbage space or junk space junk space is generally considered as if there is a space just after the opening single quote or just before the uh, closing quote if there is a space that is used that used to be considered as junk space and why we should not write uh, x path with this kind of a space because if you copy and paste this x path in your uh, ed editor like eclipse or intellij in your code that's where this value used to get changed like a sky value of these junk space used to get changed 
and because of that our uh, programming compiler like java compiler or whichever programming language you are using they get confused like how many spaces are there there like one space or two space that generally got changed so because of that many times you will uh, face some issues sometimes it it may work sometimes it may not work so it is suggested that you don't uh, use junk space when you write xpath with a bare eyes you might not be able to uh, <coughs> understood this that uh, how can this space get can get changed when we will paste from one place to other place but yes it happened many times and people face a lot of issues and in fact something i can show you here like uh, if you see that because editors different different editors uh, work like differently so value some value used to change some characters used to get changed like if i type here let's say if i paste the same x path from here to here notice that now here you see that this single code is vertical so x path and any programming language supports these vertical codes not the tilted one but here if you notice <coughs> let me see now you see that if i delete this single quote let me delete this now i type here you see that this, this single quote got tilted one now if i copy this x path and paste here this will not work it will say there is an error like single quote is missing because this doesn't consider this kind of single code, the tilted one. So this, through this you can understand, yes, we should not use junk space because editor used to change the value of these. So that is the reason. Okay, cool. So here text function is working, but if we will remove this space because we don't want to have this junk space. Now, if we hit enter, this will not work. It is showing zero element matching. Okay, so what to do now in this case? This is something like we have trimmed this space. So is there any trim function in X path? Yes, there, there is. So what we can do here, in place of this text, <coughs> we will use the normalize space function. And now you see that there is no junk space and we have used the equal method and this is working. You can say that yes, we can use the contains method and uh, like we can remove the space. Yes, that can be done. But yes, if you want to write with an equal value, that's where you can use normalize space. Normalize space, what it will do, it will basically trim the space. Trim the junk space. It will not remove this space if you feel like between two words it will remove the space no it will just uh, trim that junk space remove delete that junk space cool so this is how <coughs> we can use the normalize space okay so text we have seen that we can use text function whenever we want to write x path with the element text and with text function we cannot use the children's text dot function we can use dot function to write the x path for an element based on elements text as well as this will consider the children text as well so if you want to write x path for an element based on children text that's where you can use the dot function normalize a space normalize a space will trim the space if there is a junk space it will trim that and that's where you can use normalize the space there is a important catch in normalize the space normalize the space also works as a dot function in the background apart from trimming the space it also works as a dot function so here if you notice this <coughs> Suppose we want to write x path for this a with respect to children text. In that case, you can use normalize space as well. Like suppose you want to write x path for this element based on this shadow DOM. That's where 
and of course like this is not here we will cannot use equal because this is element has this text as well as this 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 children text so here we will have to use contains method and the formula of using contains is same for all three methods and hit enter this will work you see that so if you want to write x path for an element based on children text you can use normalize space as well so normalize space works has uh, both the functionalities like dot uh, dot feature as well as trimming the space here you can if you want to write based on this text another children text you can just you can use the normalize space here as well and it will work so now let me repeat again text function is used to write x path based on elements own text it cannot be used to write x path based on children text dot function can be used when we want to write x path based on element text as well as children text it will consider children text as well normalize space it will trim the space as well as in the background it also works as a dot function and of course like dot and normalize space both works as a text function as well like if an element has its own text like this element this a tag here uh, this a tag here has its own text so if an element has its own text then it can used we can use any of these method but you will have to remember that it will also consider the children text <clears throat> because suppose we have written x path for this element let's say span and we use the dot function here now <coughs> if any other element in this page will have this shadow dom text whether directly or with the child then this will also start showing that element matching so if you want to make sure that no it should work only for uh, elements text only it should not consider those elements whose children has this shadow dom text then in that case it is suggested that you use text function so it is uh, like text is like more robust dot is like when you want to write a common kind of x path that even if its children has this text then also show the matching node so that's where you can use dot function and normalize space but if you want to write x path for an element based on its own text only that you want to make sure that no it's uh, any other elements so children elements should not have this text it should not consider the children element text that's where you always go for text only i hope you understood these uh, three functions now they are just a little bit confusing when we uh, work in real time but but not that tough as well so practice about these uh, functions i hope you will learn a lot and if you want to learn more such deep concept you can uh, check out this course as well like this is a udemy course i have created with all such concepts in very detail and you will learn definitely a lot and if you want to take the live training you can register here for the live training as well uh, here on selectors of youtube channel you can register here <laughs> for the live training by me and this will really help you guys a lot to learn more deep concepts about xpath shadow dom selectors more uh, complex scenarios like iframe inside shadow dom nested shadow dom so these all will help you a lot so do practice about this watch this again this will really help you guys a lot i hope you have learned something new today and this will help you and please like share and let others know about such concepts this will really help them a lot thank you thank you so much